enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Yeah. We're not gonna go for all we're not gonna go for precursor orbs to be honest. We're just gonna go for power cells, but you do need like a certain number of precursor orbs in order to get a power cell. So we will be collecting a lot of them. Regardless. This is a power cell. The most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect twenty of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-Grab Zoomer. So yeah, it's another Mario clone sort of game. Much like Ty the Tasmanian Tiger was. But it's good, it's very, very good. Um, it was saving. Yeah, I'm very buggered if uh, Pinnacle Studio decides to crash on me at all during this let's play. Hey, uh, you found one of my scout flies. Yeah. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the workers must have captured them all. Yeah, if you find seven boxes like this, then you'll get a power cell. Right. And the only way to open them is to dive onto it. Power cell! And they always do a little dance whenever you get a power cell. It's pretty cool. Yeah, without a doubt, the uh, coolest thing about Jack and Daxter is the huge sense of exploration it gives you. Like, if you can see anything on the map, you're pretty much able to just go over there and explore, like, over there, that island. We're gonna explore all of that later. And there's Misty Island, where the opening cutscene took place. We're gonna go over and explore that as well. And the world is just so pretty to look at, you know? These green things here, by the way, is green eco. It constitutes as your health. And this is blue eco. There's four types of eco. This lets you run faster. And destroy things and makes you a magnet to a precursor objects. That's blue eco. Oh, he's about to tell us. The energy of motion. Blue eco allows you to run fast. Break boxes and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Thanks for that, Samos. Notice how each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. Hehe, <laughs> I just love zooming through this part. Probably missing some stuff, but I don't care. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. Okie dokie then. Yeah, you... Actually, I meant to say this back there, but you probably will get this Let's Play shortly after Spider-Man, because as I talk, the final part of Spider-Man is uploading. And it's Sunday and I'm doing nothing, so... Actually, I just bet I bet Gears of War 2. Uh, was it yesterday? No, it was Friday. Aye. And I I got paid last night from work, and I really, really, really want to get Mirror's Edge, but no one's willing to give me a lift into town today, so I could buy it. So it's gonna have to wait for a bit longer before I get that one. Which is a shame, because that's one of my uh, most wanted at the moment, Mirror's Edge. Next to uh, Sonic Unleashed. I pretty much want a lot of other games, but I've prioritized all the ones that I really, really want, you know? I also want Little Big Planet, but I don't know, Mirror's Edge and all the other Sonic Unleashed is a bit more important, but I do want to get that before Christmas. Little Big Planet. Right, are we close to getting all the precursor orbs? I think so. I think once we collect these ones, we'll be done. Yep, Geyser Rock, 50 out of 50. And the fourth and final power cell on Geyser Rock. Yes, Dexter. Right, that's us done for Geyser Rock then. 
probably going to make this its own video. Uh, if we have time, we'll watch the long cutscene again. Yeah, you can't skip the cutscenes, which was a really annoying thing for me back in the day. Good training, boys, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out. Adventuring? Why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? If we do that, we'll get a power sale. The lamps. They'll take you right there. No. Right, that's the beach level, but we're oh. not gonna go there just yet. Get out of here! Okay, say most cam dune. Right. Uh, check this out, this is Jack and Daxter Glory, this sh shot right here. Uh, if I rotate, if it lets me rotate the camera properly. Check it all out, how sweet is that? It's even better when the sun is rising. Yeah, the day to night transitions in this game are probably the best I've ever seen, to be honest. Just flows really smoothly from day to night. Alright, let's talk to Kira here. Hey, baby! Do we don't have to, but I want to show you all the funny cutscenes. Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> what about test, Daxter? Listen, Heck, we'll get to that later. to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Alright. Yeah, another... Oh, what's in here again? Oh, you can't go in here. Never mind. Another sweet thing is there is absolutely no loading times whatsoever in a Jack and Daxter game. That's why Jack X on the PS2 is so shit. Right, so here we are in a... what the hell's it called again? Tell me. Uh, Sandover Village. We got a couple of people to talk to. Right. Hey, it looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. Right, I can't quite remember where they all are actually. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. We'll talk to this guy first. But don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And, boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Oh, oh, you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor ore. Alright, so he'll give us two, one if we pull a switch over in the jungle level, which is the one we'll be doing first, and one if we give him 90 orbs. There's quite a lot of people that will give you power cells for 90 orbs, you know. So. And here's Jack's uncle, who, he's apparently his uncle, but we never hear from him again in any other Jack games. So. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. Caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, <laughs> might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. 
Right, so yeah, yet another character who will give us a power cell if we give him 90 orbs. Ryan, do you hear that whirring there? That means there's a scout fly nearby. Where exactly? Down here. Right, I think we'll try and get all the scout flies and power cells in Sandover Village. This is the way to the beach level. We're not going to go there just yet though. Notice how it's turning to night already. It's very flawless. Right, another person to talk to. 